Very unsurprisingly, the CEO of BMW, Oliver Zips, has come out and said, you know what, guys, what are you all talking about? There's nothing to worry. Uh, Chinese EVs aren't a problem in Europe. Um, it's all overblown, he says. Now, there's a very, a very clear reason for why he's saying this. He, he doesn't really believe this. He's saying this because... He's trying to protect BMW's sales in China because BMW make more money selling cars in China than they do in Europe. That's a fact. It's hard for some people to believe that, but it's actually true. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys. If you can support us on Patreon, even just a couple of dollars a month, that'd be amazing. I'll put a link in the description below. BMW's Oliver Zips says China's EV threat to Europe is completely overblown. Now, of course, BMW sells about 35% of all of its cars in China. But it makes a good profit on those vehicles, right? They're manufactured in China, pretty low prices. BMW puts a nice hefty premium on top, says that it's a premium car, and sells them in China. Now, keep in mind, BMW sales in China, they've stayed pretty flat, which is amazing because... Uh, I mean, Japanese automakers have been beaten around pretty badly in China over the last couple of years. That said, BMW has had to discount some of its EVs in China massively because uh, they're perceived as being not good enough, which is true. I mean, come on, guys. The, the BMW 3 Series in China, the electric version of the 3 Series, it weighed 2,600 kilograms, so nearly 7,000 pounds. Um, the thing was just an internal combustion engine car, which they'd slapdashed, stuck a battery pack on the bottom of it, and tried to charge premium prices for it. So no one bought them. They they'd sell them at about $25,000 less than, than what they were trying to sell them for. But BMW now does have much better EVs in China. Um, much better ones. Their sales of their EVs, they're not really that good. Um, BMW is still doing well selling internal combustion cars in China. So there is some concern from BMW that they can lose market share, which they possibly will, to Chinese competitors. But BMW is still saying, you know what? We sell 2 million cars a year. Um, what, 700,000 of those are in China? Um, let's be nice to China. Zips is the latest automaker. Um, this has happened. Mercedes said the same thing because Mercedes is in the same position as BMW to warn against erecting trade barriers in Europe on Chinese vehicles. And it follows statements from Mercedes-Benz and Volkswagen, in particular, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz, who keeps on saying this over and over. We've heard you, bud. We've heard you. You've, done, you've said it 10 times now. The European automotive industry, when it comes to the BMW Group, is not damaged by the import of Chinese automobiles nor is it in the interest of the EU to further impose customs on these products, Zips told journalists. Zips described as overblown. In fact, he said significantly overblown the fear that China could seriously disrupt European car sales. Nobody can just come into a market as large as Europe and just take it over, he said. Well, tell that to Tesla. I mean, look at how many cars Tesla are selling in Europe. Yeah, this year, Tesla are doing pretty damn well for two models. The likelihood of the European Union increasing the 10% tariff on Chinese EVs rose significantly after the European Commission said in early March. It had found evidence that China had been handing EV makers in the country unfair subsidies following an investigation. So actually, the Chinese um, government, apparently according to the European Union, is making direct transfer of funds into the bank accounts of MG, um, and also, but MG is owned by the government, so I don't understand that. I mean, that doesn't really make sense. Saik own MG. Saik is owned by the Chinese government. Anyway, but the interesting one is they claim that it was also being done by the Chinese government into BYD bank accounts. Now, I don't know how they found this information or if it's even true, but that's what the European Union is claiming. Chinese automakers, including BYD and Saik's MG, are targeting Europe with a range of very competitively priced EVs putting pressure on mass market automakers in the region. And the truth is, that's not the only issue here. Europe is concerned that there is actually about 20 different Chinese automakers uh, planning to or already selling EVs in Europe. And then it's just a matter of time before they sell them at very low prices in order to get market share. 
German automakers in particular are worried that any tariff increase by the EU will result in retaliation by China, either in the form of reprisal tariff increases or in more negative reactions to their products from customers in China, yeah, which yeah will happen, obviously. BMW last year made 33% of its vehicle sales in China, which was actually 825,000 vehicles. And China is BMW's largest market. Mercedes CEO Ola Kalanius went even further recently to say that tariffs should be lowered on Chinese EVs. He said, do not raise tariffs. I'm a contrarian. I think go the way, other way around. Take the tariffs that we have and reduce them. He told the Financial Times in March. Volkswagen Group CEO Oliver Bloom, meanwhile, has said he is concerned about the move to protectionism both in Europe and the United States. We are fighting for free and fair trade worldwide and talking also to our government, Bloom told investors. The reason Bloom says this is actually Volkswagen Group are impacted even more than, than the BMW and CEO because historically, 40% of the Volkswagen Group sales are in China. 40%, but 50% of their profit comes from China. 50%. And it will be more in future because Volkswagen as a group are moving a significant amount of their vehicle production, uh, whether that's EVs or otherwise, to China. Volkswagen has invested billions and billions and billions of dollars over the last couple of years in China, whether that be investing into Xpeng, investing into um, Sake, um, EV platforms for Audi vehicles. Uh, they've made other investments in China. They've got just opened their new Anhui factory site, a massive site that cost them, I think, about $6 billion to build. Uh, Volkswagen's plan, guys, is to just um, ship about at least 50% of the cars worldwide directly from China to all these other industries. So if, it, if it's penalized for all the cars it's making in China, it doesn't just affect it in China, it affects it everywhere else. Anyway, the threat of China's imports on low-cost EVs will have a greater effect on volume brands. Renault CEO Luca De Mio recently wrote of an onslaught of Chinese electric vehicles coming to Europe. He's afraid that China will basically take over Europe and destroy Renault and well, all other brands in Europe. Obviously, he isn't really doing the numbers, but for Renault, they don't sell many cars in China. In fact, almost none. So for them, this would be good. But for Volkswagen, BMW, Audi and Mercedes, it would be bad. Domingo said that a compact EV made in China has a cost advantage of 6,000 to 7,000 euros, around 25% of the total price. But he's full of shit. The, the price difference is way bigger than that. He's just completely talking out of his behind. He knows that. He's just try, trying to make it sound like China doesn't have some enormous electric car advantage when they do. There's no question. Demio also quoted a report by Polytechnic University detailing the huge subsidies China has paid to its domestic automakers, as well as pointing out the lower energy and wage costs born by Chinese automakers compared to those in Europe. However, he said that Europe would need to manage relations with China. Completely closing the door to them would be the worst possible response. I'm not sure what this guy is suggesting the European Union should do. Guys, the BMW and Mercedes-Benz and the Volkswagen Group, they've all played their hand here. We know what they're saying. We're not stupid. No one's stupid hearing what they're saying. BMW is saying, you know, don't bite the hand that feeds you. So what's going to happen? What would the European Union do? Because you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If they put taxes on EVs, or vehicles and EVs in particular, going to Europe, it will affect their sales in China, which is probably more, more important for European automakers. But if they don't, they're going to lose at least half their industry to Chinese manufacturers, probably more like 90%. That's what I think. I think closer to 90% of all cars being sold in Europe in 10 years' time will be made in China. There's probably nothing they can do about it. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't.